uh, here we have a little epic battle here at the first battle of Manassas versus uh, a guy named Novon and uh, myself. Just a just a casual match. Uh, nothing too talented here. Uh, just some cool uh, cinematic fighting uh, here at the first battle of Fortnite Hill. Um, so we'll do a quick army comp here. We'll do a pixelated Apollo style. Uh, so over here on the Confederate side, we got uh, we got uh, a couple of the, the, the 141st Senior, uh, whatever the fucking First Texas, one each brigade. He's playing, um, yeah, state militia, a bunch of those guys. Uh, boom, boom. He's playing Polk's uh, Polk's Corps, and he got some volunteer infantry. Bam, bam. Just showing you what the battle looks like, really. I um, mean, I am the Army of the Cumberland, I believe. Um, nothing too special here. A lot of Union uh, veteran infantry um, on that flank and that uh, brigade. And then mostly volunteer infantry for myself, just because uh, I think the Army of the Cumberland is kind of epic. I like using them. As you see, we got some nice volley fire going on here. Beautiful. Uh, and a bit here, I think I'm going to turn off the flags. Because it looks a lot better, a lot better. Ooh, baby. These guys are, a lot of them are hidden right in the hill. Um, but, uh, so are his guys. A lot of his guys are just really just hitting that. There. Uh, and I got some skirms running around. Uh, to me personally, I really don't use them that often. Um, it's really just, I mainly just use them. Kind of a cannon fodder kind of thing. Look at that. Union boys. Oh, beautiful. Union boys. All reloading. I'm gonna get down here. All reloading. here. Uh, user interface, section entry, all those target zones, turn everything off. Cards, never, never, never. Picture in picture, except changes. Uh, I don't think they don't go away right away, but they will. <laughs> now this one here, we're kind of just Focusing down on a certain regiment um, after a little bit of while, and here you see they've they've taken some losses. Oh, bit of a tough match, or a bit of a tough spot right here. He's really just moving the troops, not too good. A couple guys sounding like they're getting hit. Don't think they are though. He's just adjusting his position. Um, then I realized that these guys over here really aren't killing anything. The regular infantry aren't shooting anything. So I moved them out of the way, and I'm going to move them about over here, I believe, to volley down on these fuckers. Um, and really destroy their asses. They're getting hit. Look at that. This is the um, ACW Hardcore uh, submod. It's the 1.7. It's the testing one. It's the newest one. Um, really great mod. Uh, difficult mod can be at times, um, but other than that, it's really, really nice. Turn it around like a little bitch. Okay, Novon. Yeah, run away, little bitch. Cause he's getting his shit volleyed down. Yeah, you know, oh, he's lost guys there. Can't really see their bodies. Can't really see any of their bodies there, really. 
was a lot of them there. Yeah, these guys were getting hammered hard on the hill, so I was like, it's time to pull them back, boy. That's weird. A little glitch of a body. Uh, we sit here for a little bit. Um, and he starts maneuvering his troops back that way, so I kind of just decide, all right, he's going to do that. I'm just going to move my troops down the field. He kind of sits them up here in the forest for a little while, and I have skirms just now getting into position. Um, nothing super talented here. Ooh, man, wow, they just got hammered. They're getting hammered hard. Woo! Yeah, the thing about running your troops in this is just, it, it fucking, it really fucks you up, to be honest. And, oh, there's a little triangle formation. I never really was a fan of triangle formations, just because you always get fucked, like, right in the tip there. It's not really, not really epic. Oh, his troops just stand right in front of the fence. Sometimes that happens, it's really fucking terrible. Because I'm just like, bruh, I don't want that shit to happen. Oh, getting volleyed. Guy's dropping down there. Ooh, man. Yeah, this sunken area just wasn't a good spot. Damn. What a volley. Beautiful. These guys... I'm, not, I'm still not sure if the snake fence stops that many shots. I believe it does, but I'm not, I, I'm still not too sure. I don't know. Beautiful. Woo! That was loud. These fucking gunshots are so loud. Also extremely beautiful. is falling down for a moment. Our men are running for all right. So I believe yeah, those guys over there, they're getting fucked there, so I just had to, you know, kind of pull them down a little bit more. Wow. Oi. Alright, well, they come back finally. That's good. I, I think I forget. Okay. I pull them back, and I kind of put them in reserve for a while. They're still getting fucked. They we're getting... One or we started to get hits down here now. They weren't really, they weren't taking any casualties earlier. Nice. Still over here on this flank. Um, kind of hammering his artillery with my own. Uh, fucked over his horses. Another one of those, bruh. They get hammered over here too. Yeah, they, they get hammered. Um, right about here, I was deciding to pull my guys back because, I mean, as you can see, we were taking unnecessary casualties. I really should have never pushed up, up this close over here. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, I decided to pull my guys back there. These guys still haven't taken that many casualties, and we're doing massive amounts of damage um, to these guys over here. They were also taking... These, these are the same guys that were taking the same damage over here on the fence. Whew, man. These volleys are getting real nice. Oh, taking hits. Massive hits. The men of the teams are a must Hit right away. Bam. Look at that. Sharpshooters, OP as fuck. Or skirmishers. Yeah, they finally, they break. I think they come back a little bit later. Though. Yeah, they were getting hammered on this hill. 
pipe out. This regiment here and the skirmishers. These guys eventually, uh, they end up retreating um, a little bit later for a stupid reason. But this retreat back across the hill. I have my um, general somewhere. The of fatigue, sir, and must rest Artillery is still back here. Uh, I've been starting to move them up. I kind of waste them a little bit later, you'll see. Uh, but they are hammering down on their artillery and a bit of their infantry. Nothing too much. Nothing too epic. So what I do here is I have all of these regiments focused down on his one regiment. Um, I believe, yes, yeah, the Mississippi. And if you look here, you'll just see the amount of losses that they are taking. Look at that. Blast. I know this regiment's still shooting at me, but it was really, I wanted to break these guys down. Uh, because they had more shots on me than these guys did, really. Yeah, those skirmishers are starting to run now. Two hundred and one. Just a couple minutes ago, these guys were almost full on their, their regiment. They'd only taken one or two losses. But I moved all these regiments up here, and they got hammered. There goes the flag. It's beautiful. Now this. up taking a look over here these guys are still firing down on those guys at the hills well no one gets a nice position here um, really hammering those guys on the hills still uh, it's 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 a better idea for me to pull back um, surprisingly I haven't yet mainly because that that line wasn't retreating yet and I really wanted them to but they just weren't so until they fell back I don't believe I pulled my mini back A lot of smoke over here. Oh. Yeah, those skirmishers really got hammered. This regiment here, as you can see, lots of bodies back there. That's from that regiment that retreated earlier and still fighting that same area. Guys breaking and falling back finally after. Wow, look at that. Just shoot my guys in the back here for sure. Really stupid position. Again, as I said, this is more of a casual match. We just wanted to try out shit. Um, and get some good kills and good volleys and shit. Ah, uh, the, the, the deployment on this map is super close. It's like everyone's like just stacked up on each other. There they go. Finally gone. Wow. Look at the bodies there on the corner of that fence getting hammered by all those regiments. That's insane. Beautiful. Guys set up there. They're taking some decent losses up there as well. Um, they move them over to the sunken. Uh... The engagement happens a little bit. I think we, yeah, we have to hop over the fence first. As you can see, the losses taken so far are pretty bad from a lot of them. These guys relatively fine. A lot of them down to the low 200s. Um, some of them into 100s. My left flank, uh, I finally start to move these guys up. I believe, oh no, we're just hitting them with artillery. I have my regiments in the forest here that he's moving over because these guys are just kind of sitting here. I didn't move them, and he got bored, and then he needed support over on the other side, so he decided to move them, and that ended up fucking him a little bit more later on in the match. Um, but at the same time, it also did well 
later on when he had more units on that side, and you'll see what he does eventually. So we just have guys sitting in the field here. Nice little waiting. We'll speed it up a little bit until we get into some combat. But yes, yeah, so uh, so far we've had a lot of a lot of fighting, heavy fighting, a lot of heavy losses as well. And now here we are, we're starting to move up a little bit more. So I finally want I want to get some more shooting in, and I want to start taking his guys down a little bit more. Me sitting behind that snake fence really isn't going to do much for me. Ooh, there goes the volley, breaks down across his skirmishers, just not really doing much. I don't need those skirmishers, so I'm just kind of popping them. Um, I know they can be very useful, but I just don't really know what to do with them a lot of the time. So, I just leave them be. Look at it go. Look at that smoke, that smoke looks so good. Doesn't look like it hits anybody there. Falling back. Just a battle on, on two sides for right now. Um, eventually it breaks out a little bit more later once I bring my left flank up. Uh, it gets extremely close for a bit um, in the fields over here on the right. You'll also see that. But for right now, it's just really just a, a volley off. Him moving here it helps me a lot. <laughs> Kill a lot of them. Uh, my position on the higher ground was a lot better. As you can see, he's getting demolished. Look at these young guys. Man, I bet what they wish they had some, some nice blue uniforms, some Union ones. Dirty Rebs. Just getting their reloads in. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Taking hits. So it's falling them back again. Go back along this line and take a look at their casualties. Uh, I can't really tell here. Doesn't seem to have done too bad for them. For me, on the other hand, still also not much. Just a lot of firing. He falls them back again. And I, yet again, have to just wait. Um, my regiment's over here. I'm still just kind of sitting here. Uh, my three-inch guns, also just sitting back here, still hammering. His artillery is dead. He has one other uh, thing of artillery left, and these guys are just gone. I broke them a long time ago. And he's got another three-inch, or a three-inch, there. This guy's just sitting, moving my units we're keeping them there, because I didn't really want to salt across this river, because fuck that. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to have a battle uphill, because my guys were getting pretty wavery, and I hadn't moved my left flank up behind as reserves to help them. So I was like, well, I want to do this flanking move over here. In reality, I should have moved some reserves in to help them replace these guys uh, and let them rest for a while. But I didn't. I held against it. it a very bad idea. Um, on my part, I could have ended the battle way quicker if I had those guys there. Because fresh troops against their guys, he had most of his guys in combat. I did too, except I had um, probably, I think, five regiments over there in reserve, and he had about four, so it would have been one over. Moving up a little bit more here. Just getting reset at the positions. I set these guys down at the bottom of the hill uh, so they could have double kind of volleys over them. These guys would fire over them. These guys would fire over them. And 
these guys would be able to chew upwards. See these guys here just so ready for it. Um, assaulting that hill, there is a bit more of a death trap. I got so fucked up down here. Look at these bodies, the devastatingness of the poo poo. A lot of dead guys there. If I were him, because of how I have my troops positioned, I would have moved my arty somewhere like right here, rather than wherever the hell he had it, because it would have just a nice clear view right there, and I wasn't paying attention much to his arty. As you can see, I moved my arty there. Um, I really wasn't paying much attention to his arty, so I didn't really give a shit where they were, and here I am here. Starting to move my volunteer infantry across. I didn't really uh, care too much about his arty, no matter where it was, and no matter if it hurt me or not. Uh, which was stupid, but it would have worked in favor for him. Um, so, yeah. We'll go ahead and play again. So to move my units up a little bit more on the hill, maybe? No. These guys look so good. These uniforms are beautiful. This Mississippi, beautiful. Oh. Take a look at this arty. Close the shooting range! Sometimes they just don't fire. It's really annoying. They just sit there. It kind of glitches out. It's really fucking annoying when that shit happens. Look at that. But when they fire, man, do they look beautiful. Look at that reload. Oh, wow. This is something that War of Rights will just never have, is, is artillery. Never ever. Lovely there. We'll go ahead, look over there at the other artillery, see if they're actually setting up properly. Yeah, look. They just kind of stand there. I have them firing at a target, and they just sit. There it goes. And these guys did fire. Bruh. Finally begin to move his stuff up. Look at that. Look at that. Just skirmishery. Dude, this would be mad scary. Senate lion. Look at your enemy live right there, right in front of you. You know, <laughs> in front of this lion, you're probably gonna die. You most likely gonna die. Artillery not doing too much damage. Oh, never mind. I take that back. Woo, baby. I think I only. There's three guys back there. Yeah. He's got more of his reserves moving up on this side. And he doesn't focus on my left. Uh, he kind of lets me have the left flank. A little bit whenever I move over here, but he kind of just shifts over to the right a little bit more. We'll continue speeding this up a little bit. You just see what happens there. Yeah. And then we get into the combat. Let's see what I'm talking about with I have these guys volleying, and then those guys will be also volleying. But it ends up being a death trap for them because, man oh man, do they get fucked. Look at that. See that? Just volleyed right in the back. Destroyed. Man. There goes the drummer. <laughs> yeah, they took, uh, they took a lot of losses there. They took a lot of losses. So I, uh, that pushed them. Whew. Some of that was from earlier. That was from earlier, I know. But that stuff was not from earlier. That stuff was definitely from just then when they just got volleyed down. Just from one or two volleys from a couple regiments. One volley from a regiment. You 
to see we're back over again. Setting back up. Hitting, wow, what a shot from that already back there. These guys still not getting set. AI is sometimes mad stupid. Like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Getting reloaded over here. And over here we have some more shots rain off. That left flank's really pulling up the river there. Finally getting across. Doing something with them. As you can see, they're all ready. Officers there, NCO. House crumbles again. Just trading volleys back and forth. Just a couple regiments of mine facing off against all of theirs. My artillery is doing some massive damage to it. You saw earlier it hit right in the middle of one of these lines and demolished them. Sounds just so good. Woo. Getting demolished as he moves them up. Now it gives me the advantage as I'm firing down at them at the hill, just like those guys were there earlier. Look at those guys go down. Running back. Just too afraid to take casualties, really. Um, I don't want to get fucked over. Just because he moved all, he did move a lot of those guys up. And those are, you know, I didn't have my left flank quite there yet. Woo! He just took down that artillery there. It's always interesting to see from your artillery's position. These guys, I think, are firing on my arty. Yeah, they're firing on my arty. And see, he's moving his guys up a lot closer. Um, he's getting them within a decent amount, uh, a decent, you know, chain shot distance. This was one of my big mistakes here is moving the artillery up into that center there just so I can get some chain shots done on him. It really doesn't do me too well. Um, they get charged. They're done for, really. Yeah, look at that. Chain shot down on them. They fall back a lot. Or are they bro I think they're broken. Yeah, they're broken. Just a fight from the fence again. Yet again, back in the same spots. A back and forth battle just between that same area, really. Um, movement only begins to pick up a lot more in um, these minutes here. And look at that. Guys taking shots, making sure that these guys do not come back. So the less regiments that they have, the less guns that they have, the better. Each regiment counts. He moves him up. He gets really aggressive. Fucks him up a little bit here, though. Crossing across this field like this gives us an easy volley. He should have moved him back a little bit more before pushing him. Just moving them across. 
across the sweet field. Scattered bodies. He runs them across at this point. These guys just demolish. They've taken the majority of the losses in this field. Look at that. Look at them drop. Dirty revs. Wow. Really just getting crushed. Confused. Uh, I don't know how they haven't broken yet. Look at that. Numbers still going down. 97, 96. They were at 220 just a few minutes ago before that cross cross it. And now we have some more combat behind these snake fences for right style. Close up, I, yeah, I retreat my men back here. I don't want to face them in direct combat because I know that I would most likely lose. And you see, I finally have these guys here ready to release the chain. Here it goes, they start slowing up. Bam! Devastating. I believe it breaks one of them. There they go. AI is real glitchy when it comes to charges sometimes. You can let off one more shot before they have to get in the melee. No. No, never mind. I guess not. Things start breaking down. These guys get into melee combat. Artillery guys, they don't last too long. You know, just normal 100 versus 12. Well, someone just let off a shot. That might be there, guys. Oh, no, that's these guys. Yeah, these guys break apart pretty fast. I'm not surprised. I started getting my men set up again. And my flank has moved up officially all the way on theirs, but he is now moving his guys enveloping around my right. Wish it would have been a lot better for me to have at least one or two regiments over here on the right side for me. Would have really helped out. But I start getting into a terrible position here. It's really not good for me. Um, or it ends up not being good for me once he pushes me back a lot more into the forest here. Uh, there's a way I could have I could have done it. I could have used a more hook formation. We're in the left and been a bit more aggressive than I was, but I just was not doing too well. These dollars in the distance. Check out on the inner in the field. Take it slow motion for a moment. Just gaze across the silence. Some beautiful music. Oh, I love the, the total one. These guys are retreating and they're broken, but they just won't move. So they just end up getting really friendly fired down here in the in the middle of the field. You can see lots of losses over there from uh, the CSA moving across that field tons of losses there. Uh, a lot of losses uh, from me as well. But man, they really got demolished on that snake fence. I love just taking a look, scrolling out, and just looking at where you've battled across the field. It's so cool. Um, I think this one, it's about um, I think uh, I have about uh, 400 maybe more guys in him, possibly. Um... But it was, it was still pretty even. It was 3,000. It's like 3,400 maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know how I brought more guys. I think it had some militiamen that I also brought with me. Rather than a skirmisher unit. But look at that. Wow. Now we're getting real close in the battle. Nice close combat. 
Uh, not quite meleeing, but closer combat. You start to see, just look at these guys in the road, eventually get volleyed down. They're just standing there. They, they said they're broken, but I think they glitched and they were going to come back. I think it's what shattered is they never come back. But. Yes. They're just soaking up the bullets for my guys that are really shooting. Or they're just getting shot by my friendlies. I think they also might be getting shot by my friendlies. Still just broken, just sitting there. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. They all just eventually drop. <laughs> just standing in a line. Just standing in a line, ready to get killed, and these guys start falling back eventually. Yeah, I, I start pulling them back once these guys retreat. They're also routing. Yeah, once these guys start retreating more, I, I kind of pull them back. And wow, look at that. Their losses are tremendous in that field there. Good for me, but he has a lot of units on this right flank. And over here... In order to stop the uh, their charge against my cannons, some melee combat going on. Just to stop them, these guys retreating, doing good for me. Shattered, they're not coming back ever. Enveloping these guys, killing them. Just for just for killing's sake, these guys aren't coming back. This is. You know, just free kills for me, really. Not that many Union bodies, not devastating for me at all, really. Yeah, only a couple losses, about eight losses for me in that. Finishing him off. Eventually hopping back in line. You look at that. 39 guys left out of 250. All from that right there. A ton of bodies. Pile of bodies there. Um, that was... I, I had to stop a, a charge really across from them destroying my cannons here. As I needed to really not take the, the losses from those cannons. Because I already took I already took losses over here. I didn't want to take any. These guys still here, no longer in the crossfire, but they're still just standing here, broken, fresh, casualties sustained. Really, just no need for them to just stay here. But the, the AI was glitched, battling in these in these uh, wheat fields. I don't know, cornfields, wheat fields. Uh, each map is different. Some corn is yellow, some corn is green. Some of those wheat fields, I don't know. Ah, uh, corn. Look like the UFK. Ah, no. Shooting across them, right into the, into the fields here. Crossing across. Uh, I I move my men more in columns just because they get demolished when you move them like that. Same thing. I do the same thing. Obviously, I'm just saying that I should. Yeah, these guys here. They, if they get shot anymore, it's definitely by friendlies. It's not really anything by anybody else, really. Just dead. It's stupid. Took casualties here as well. It's just so interesting to see where you fought on the battlefield. And this is really where I kind of needed those extra units on the side. I know these, these guys are broken and routing, so I, I can't really have them come across here. If I had those extra two units, it would have been nice for a flank, but I, I had them focusing here really stupidly. Just a couple regiments, and they had their artillery, so I couldn't do anything about that. I should have pulled them back left, and I do begin pulling them back left a little bit more. And here the battle kind of slows down um, after all of this fighting. So we're going to speed it up a little bit, get those volleys in. Look at that. Look at those dropping. Look at those guys dropping there. Speeds them across the battlefield. I would run them at that point. Just to get them in position if they're that close to being in position. You can see these guys are getting fucked up.
these two shots. Beautiful. It lines up a little bit more here, but I notice whenever my guys start breaking a lot more, I'm like, maybe this isn't the best position because he's just enveloping you, really. These guys are not stopping. They do not stop moving. 168, 162. Relatively even uh, with a couple of these regiments. The losses are, are even at this point. Um, but man, oh man. We're getting slaughtered here. I thought I pulled my entire line back at this point. Things this is this is really when things start to slow down. Um, these artillery guys that kind of just keep here. Really should have moved these guys. Really should have moved them because I offered no help to my line getting destroyed back here. These guys still fighting. Left a couple units back. Taking losses, falling back behind his next night points. Just shooting still behind all these fields and stuff. Oh, yeah. More reloading, more reloading. A lot of reloading. Decent positioning here, really getting a crossfire down on these units now. These guys are starting to take a lot of losses. Terrible oh, positioning here. Look at that. They obviously, yeah, they're running hard. Unit you know, boys taking mad hits there. Really bad positioning for me. I don't know why I didn't pull them back earlier. And here is the final guy. The final one, just sitting here alone. Yet to be dead. I have these guys here relatively fresh, these 250, 243. These guys, a lot of them, just pulling back. Yeah. These guys finally come back. They come back somehow after losing that many guys on this. I would have just ran if I were getting fucked like that. And from here on out, it's kind of just a pushback. To the bridge, no combat for a long time, really. Um, uh, and we finally pull back to the bridge. Uh, leave a like if you'd like to see the ending um, of this fight. The ending of the fight lasts about 20 minutes or so. Um, back behind this bridge until he has to cross over there and cross here. And yeah, it's it's been a good fight. If you if you look across the battlefield, you'll see bodies just scattered all around is back and forth and back and forth across the field finally and he envelops me over here and really crushes me um, to the last point. I end up winning uh, whenever he charges across the bridge. It just chokes him out really. Just really decent. Nice. Nice for me. Really good for me. Some more fighting. A little bit more fighting but that's that's essentially it. Um, we're going to call it quits here. Let me know if you want to see uh, part two in the comments. But, um, yeah. I'll see you gamers later. Our men are running, sir.